Welcome to Small Arm Solutions. Today we're looking at a new caliber, a relatively new caliber that uh, is very, very impressive. And considering all the cartridges that have come out over the last, you know, 10, 10 years or so that have come and gone, uh, this is one of the cartridges I think that may have a future, uh, especially with, hunt with hunters in this, uh, in this country. Now the rifle we're looking at is the Rock River Arms LAR-15M, but uh, first I want to talk a lot about this cartridge, the 350 Legend. The 350 Legend, or 9x43, was introduced in 2019 by Winchester at the SHOT Show. What's very interesting about this is a straight-walled hunting cartridge that was developed for states which have restrictions on what you can use in for rifles. In some cases, you can only use straight-walled cartridges, 45, 70, or pistol cartridges, or so on and so forth. So what this is, it gives you a straight-walled cartridge that fires a .350 diameter projectile. Now, the maximum effective range is 250 yards, so for anybody who's going to be hunting any kind of any kind of large game, such as deer, or medium game, such as deer, it's a brush gun. It's going to be very similar to that of a 30-30 Winchester, or something that's going to be like R760 by 39. It's going to be something that's going to be relatively uh, close range. It was adopted in, in uh, January 31st of uh, 2020 by Sammy. The cartridge type case is a rebated rim with a straight wall. Overall length about 1.71 inches, and the bullet diameter of 0.357 or 9 millimeter small rifle primer. Now, the initial cartridges that came out with it are 145 grain, 170 grain, and 180 grain. Put up by Winchester. You had the 145 grain full metal jacket by Winchester USA. You had the Deer, Se Deer Season XP, 150 grain, super suppressed 265 grain, PowerPoint 160 grain, and PowerPoint 180 grain. Now, with this being a, this being a 16 inch barrel, we want to see what the velocities were. So, the three that we tested with 145 grain, and that was 2,250 feet a second, 170 grain, 2,098 feet per second, and the 180 grain, uh, 2,020 feet per second. The time we tested the rifle, we only had three kinds of ammunition available to us, and I do want to thank Brownells for making sure we had this ammunition so we could test this rifle because this ammunition is very, very rare at the moment. The three types that we had were the Winchester 150 grain extreme point, we had the, the 180 grain power point, and the 170 grain soft point. Now, the very interesting thing was the 150 grain extreme point, which is supposed to be the best round that's available for here. It's got the rubber tip on it. Would not cycle on this rifle. It would not feed. When it would feed off of the magazine, the bullet tip would hit the barrel extension, and it would not feed. So if you wanted to fire this particular round in an autoloader or an AR-type rifle, you have to load them single shot. So that was relatively disappointing. But the other two, there was no problem at all. At all, We had the 180 grain power point was 2,020 feet per second, and the 170 grain was uh, 2,098 feet per second. Now, one thing that's been stated by, by Winchester was that the 350 Legend offers a flatter trajectory uh, than anything else that's straight walled in, in the industry. And uh, basically what we've seen for the testing, I certainly would agree with it. The recoil uh, was very, very manageable. The cartridge can be shot in either semi-automatic, bolt action, or lever action by the shape of it. It fits fine in a tube, fine in a magazine. So it's universal, so you can go whatever type of weapon that you want, whether it be an AR platform, bolt action, so on and so forth. Now, for as far as the magazine is concerned, you do have to have a proprietary magazine for it to fire this cartridge. It will not work in a standard 5.56 magazine. Uh, this rifle, the two magazines that we had came from uh, C Products Defense. They were Duramag. As we can see, we have a 20 round here, and then for hunting, we have a 10 round magazine. Uh, there was a lot of modifications that had done to the feed lip, so everything would line up properly, so it would go directly into the chamber. So the cartridge is extremely impressive. Many states where people are restricted on what they can and can't use for hunting, who are restricted to the straight wall, they have a cartridge that will definitely put down a deer with no problem or any other type of medium or small game. Minimal recoil for somebody who wants to carry a lightweight rifle. This is an extremely lightweight rifle in the chamber in this caliber, and it's universal. It can be used for a lot of different things. So this cartridge, I think, has a tremendous amount of potential. Uh, I've talked to several manufacturers who are now looking into manufacturing barrels for those. So I'm looking forward to trying this in some additional uh, weapons platforms as well. So we're talking a little about this rifle. Now this is the basic Rock River Arms uh, LAR-15 type rifle. Uh, we have the you know the basic stock. We have a muzzle brake on here instead of a flash suppressor. Now this thing will work very well with a suppressor. There is ammunition uh, for suppressed as well. Of course the receiver is 775 T6 aircraft grade aluminum. We have a rubber over molded A2 style pistol grip. We have a standard bolt carrier group in it with a uh, barrel with the bolt that is specific for the 350 Legend. Now looking at the handguard here, we have a low-profile gas block which is not drilled in pin. It's held in by two set screws. We have a stainless steel heavy barrel, 1 and 16 inch twist, which you would expect for this caliber, and we have a, uh, a half by 36 thread basic 30 caliber that you could use any of your cans on as long as they would work for a 9 millimeter type, they would work for it. We have a Rock River Arms proprietary rail, which is a M-lock. Uh, this is the 13 inch extended lightweight uh, free float rail. 
Now this, the trigger on here is a two-stage trigger that, come, that comes from Rock River Arms, which is quite it's quite nice. It's a you know I certainly wouldn't put it up there with Geisley or Knights or Hipperfire, but it's definitely for the price an extremely uh, high quality trigger. So we basically have a stock rifle with a 350 Legend barrel, a standard gas system, standard bolt carrier group with a bolt specifically for a 350 Legend. Now the optic I chose on here was it was a Bravo 3. It was basically a red dot, and again this being more of a brush gun where you're looking at uh, you know one to two hundred yards. I think this is an ideal type of an optic for it. Uh, this is the one that we tested. And as I said, for as far as uh, testing was concerned, we had 100 rounds of each of the, the cartridges, the three types of the cartridges, and due to the fact that the uh, the one wouldn't feed, we didn't really bother with it, so we did fire 100 rounds of each. So what I think we're going to do is we're going to take us to the range, and we're going to see how it shoots. As we said, as I stated previously, we had no malfunctions with the exception of that particular ammunition uh, that would not feed. Now, the best group was shot by Brandon from the gun room, and that was with the 180 grain projectile, and that was two and three quarter MOA at 100 yards. For this type of a rifle, very, very, very pleased with that. Uh, for uh, for somebody who's hunting, that, that is absolutely no problem uh, whatsoever. But overall, I think we have a, a new caliber that I think has a future. Uh, as we saw with the 224 Valkyrie, that died a very, very quick death. It had a lot of hype when it started out. I think it had it had rather limited applications. Uh, where this one, on the other hand, this one appeals to sportsmen for as far as hunting uh, and giving them a new cartridge and a new and a, and a familiar platform uh, that they're going to be able to use. So uh, I do expect this one will last uh, last quite a while. And I do expect it's going to be very popular with the with the shooting community. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you do, please click like, please subscribe, and even better share.